Hello, my name is Remy Sharp, and these are my ZX Spectrum tools. Um, I am a specky kid uh, and uh, recently acquired a ZX Spectrum Next. And a lot of the tools that I came across were for uh, Windows. I don't have Windows, um, I have a Mac, and I can write web software. So I uh, wrote some cross platform software to do um, basic, uh, well, to, to import basic and export basic. Um, uh, to do some sprite stuff and uh, I've got some old screen tools where you can um, upload photos and it will turn it into a, uh, a screen file format. But I want to show you the new stuff that I've been adding to the sprites tool. Um, so this is the sprites tool, uh, there's a couple more tabs, uh, before it was just a sprite editor, it was a lot smaller. Um, the sprite is very big, nice and big, um, and the, the couple of extra bits that I've added are um, uh, the ability to pan uh, the sprite, oh, it's got a bit nuts already, um, uh, the ability to undo, uh, so there's kind of unlimited eye to undo there, um, and you can also copy uh, a sprite and paste it uh, anywhere uh, down the line, which is uh, pretty useful, um, and you can move things along, so you can move them, which is great. Anyway, um, the the thing that I've added now uh, that I think is is interesting uh, is the tile map. Um, the I haven't used this in Angie yet, but um, it's based on what uh, I've been watching other people's videos on uh, Facebook on how they're doing tiles, and I've kind of implemented a, my first run at a sixteen by sixteen tile map um, editor. It doesn't support eight by eight yet. Um, but I just want to show you that, um, and uh, this PNG importer is a kind of a complementary tool to it. But so, say um, I'm in my sprite editor, I can actually drop um, PNGs into this page, and it will kind of unravel them into my sprite sheet. Um, so if I have this this task set, set, for instance, I got it from um, uh, itch.io, and it's pretty well laid out. It's already kind of 16 by 16, um, and it's laid out in a grid so that when I drop it into uh, the browser here. I'll just move that across. Um, it kind of unravels pretty well. Like it gives me a full sprite sheet. I could just download that now. I could use that in my code um, and it's it's ready to go. Um, but the problem comes when you get a, uh, like a tile set like this, which is, um, you know, kind of a bit more disparate in the file and a bit more all over the place. This is where the, um, the PNG importer comes in. So if you drop the um, PNG into uh, this panel, um, it'll load it up and it'll give you this kind of little, tiny little view of what 16 by 16 looks like. Um, and the point of this is you kind of get it on top of the, um, the, the, the right tile and you copy that into your, your sprite sheet. So um, and let me just kind of, this is how you reset your sprite sheet. Um, all right, let's just re-import that. And then, um, so I've got a couple of things here. I can kind of uh, change the mask so it's a bit clearer what I'm looking at. Um, or if I just want to look at everything, I can kind of go up and down. Um, there's, I, I want to do more with this, um, but at the moment, uh, it's just looks like this. Um, and importantly, you can zoom in so you can see what you're doing. So uh, once I've got the the tile I want, I'm just going to copy that into that current selection. Um, I need to change the selection there. Um, and if I if I do uh, shift left and right, it'll shift the uh, the PNG along. If I do shift control, it'll move by eight pixels. So I can copy that into um, the next one uh, into the next uh, sprite position. So I'm going to copy a bunch of um, uh, potential sprites for a uh, sprite map, and I'll just do that quickly now. Um, just one note on this particular sprite, um, the tile map that I've got set up, it, it uses this last position uh, for the thing that kind of fills the uh, the tile map. Um, so I'm going to pop, pop that into there and it should fill this entire floor. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about the tile map in a bit more detail uh, in a moment. Okay, so um, I don't think the workflow is great yet, but I would love feedback on how to make that better. Um, so now I can go ahead and kind of modify my tile map. Um, like I said, the 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 map is populated with this last uh, last tile, 
Um, you can't change the size of the map yet. I want to. You can't change the um, the pixel dimension from 16 to 18. I, I want to do that. I'm not quite sure how it will work. Um, but what you can do is select the sprite that you want to draw with, um, and you can draw into um, uh, the map. So um, once I have uh, got my tile looking okay, uh, which is probably better than that, um, I can go ahead and download uh, the binary for this. The, 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 basically what it will do is it's like, it's like putting each one of these um, values into a bank and uh, it will be a binary file of all that, 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 that map. So um, my map dot map not the greatest of names but yeah we'll save that um we need to save the sprite sheet as well because that's what we're using um so we can go ahead and download the sprite sheet so my map dot sprite um and um actually there's some example um next basic um so uh this is some example code that we can use um i think that number it's just not gonna like that number i'll fix that um and i can just change it in here if I want to or I can just download it and edit it later on um, so my map um, and what I'm going to do is fire up um, uh, c-spect and show you that uh, running um, so let's get that going now what I'll do is I'll take um, I mounted this um, empty drive uh, some example files I was working from, so let's get rid of those. Um, let's take the files we just downloaded and copy those into there. I think I've named my files wrong. This should be uh, my sprite.spr. Um, so that looks okay. Let's go into the browser. Uh, drive, yep, yeah, okay. Um, so that's the map file, that's the binary file that we made. Uh, this is the uh, sprite sheet, and this should be the basic that we just downloaded. Uh, let's give it a try. Ah, cool. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's it's a work in progress. Um, you can see it kind of how it puts together a map, and um, I would love some feedback whether this is useful. I'm going to try and use it for some of the stuff I'm doing, um, but I'm new to this, so uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.